One Minute Inspirations, Henry Street Church of Christ. Did you get enough? Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. Psalm chapter 1, verse 1 to verse 3, New King James Version. Some of my most cherished memories as a young man was visiting my great aunt Alta Richardson in Tennessee. From time to time, I would travel to her home for a visit. While there, she made sure her nephew was treated like a king. She was a very kind-hearted person and has missed a lot since she passed away in 1998. One of my fondest memories is her home-cooked meals. The meals were certainly delicious and filling. However, she did not want to stop feeding you. So when she saw that you had eaten all that she had given you, she would always ask, did you get enough? The answer was always more than enough because the portions she provided were certainly fit for a king. Well, this brings back an analogy of God's word in my mind. Like I love Aunt Alta's food, we should always delight in God's word. It should bring delight in our heart. It took me three and a half hours to drive to my aunt's house, but the effort just for the food alone was worth it. So was our Bible study habits. The effort is worth it because the reward is great. It keeps us from being deceived by the foolish advice and ways of the world because it is wisdom. It is necessary for us to spiritually live in God's eyes. It is as Jesus said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. It is also power in that it drives Satan away as he cannot stand up to it. Matthew chapter four, verse one to verse 11, Ephesians chapter six, verse 17. So we should have a different answer to the question, did you get enough when it comes to God's word? The answer is never so. We should be hungry for it at all times. We should be a Bible glutton. God bless you. Thanks for listening. If you have not made Jesus Christ the head of your life for salvation, don't delay another day. The Bible says that we must obey the gospel. Romans chapter 10 verse 16. This is done by being exposed to, believing, and adhering to the Word of God as delivered to us in the New Testament of the Bible. For short, it is called obeying God's plan of salvation. Please see my accompanying video entitled, The Six Things That Save, in order to do so today. You can reach it by going to the YouTube link below or scanning the QR code below with your cell phone. God bless you. Thanks for listening. This is a ministry of the Henry Street Church of Christ, 309 Henry Street, Gadsden, Alabama, USA, 35901, www.henrystreetchurchofchrist.com. Please subscribe to our channel. God bless you.